the actual shape of it, the look of it, it isn't just going to be an iconic sporting trophy, it is actually a piece of art and you can see that in the design, in the shape and in the gold and the silver, the way it works so well together and the way they complement each other. Thomas Light, we are silversmiths and goldsmiths to the Royal Household and her late majesty the Queen. We've made many amazing trophies for all over the world for many different sports. We made the Emirates FA Cup and Tennis Australia wanted to match that prestige and uh, I feel like we've done that here with the United Cup. Well, we wanted something that was instantly iconic, um, that was very special and unique for this event. And we wanted something that really symbolised bringing together the male players and the female players. The trophy itself is made from sterling silver, and then parts of it, as you can see, are 20 mil carat gold plated. The major part of it is from 8 mil silver rod which are all formed into the shape which then surround the bowl itself. And there's 36 silver rods that so symbolises the 18 mixed doubles partnerships but they're also, they twist and turn and rise out of the base so they're symbolising the movement of the tennis ball and the elegance of our sport. The bowl is symbolic of the sharing and bringing people together because ultimately this sport is about bringing together the best male and the best female players to play for their country. The United Cup required approximately 24 to 25 hours of polishing. Basically after our team and the workshop has made any of the trophies, they come into us in the polishing shop and we polish them and make them look good. The bowl itself, I wanted to bring that right up to a very, very high polish on that one because it's seen inside and out and then the reflections from the rods onto the bowl, you want to be able to see that crisply. It's become one of our favourite cuts because of all the reflections from the rods and when it hits the bowl, if you look from the underside of the bowl you'll see the rods look like they're disappearing into the bowl and the bowl is actually floating. Now, top tennis players around the world are going to want to win this cut.